right, 6.30 in the morning. We've got about a four hour drive to get to Tracy Arm. And then we've got one heck of a sea kayaking trip. Just loading up boats for a big adventure down at Tracy Arm. Making sure everything stays dry so you guys have a nice time sleeping tonight. I think the first thing that really catches people by surprise when they come into Tracy Arm is the sensation of paddling through an enormous glacially carved landscape. On both sides you have glacially carved mountains anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000 feet high. It is one of those places that is so stunning. No matter where you look, 360 degrees, you have a postcard image. So right now we're just at really the beginning of the major ice in Tracy Arm. I mean, this, this place is just filled with these big icebergs. It's a thousand feet deep here. So these are free floating and it's just gonna get thicker and thicker with ice as we go forward. As you paddle up, you start to see one and two and eventually you're engulfed in the sea of glacial ice. It actually made it really cool for paddling, dodging, weaving our way through all the ice. and It was like a maze. It's still kind of a little unbelievable that that's what I was just doing. It was very, very cool. One of the coolest things about paddling through all that ice is the sounds that the ice is making, the crashing, the snapping, the thunderous booms as the ice is breaking and chunks are falling off. You don't realize, even from the boat, how big these pieces of ice are. You'll have anything from the size of your kitchen table up to the size of a three-story building. There's 10 to 20 percent of that ice showing above the water. So the vast majority of that ice is actually underneath the water. And as these things start to melt, they break apart. And what you can have as you're paddling through are events where building-sized pieces of ice shatter into pieces and suddenly roll and create enormous wakes. At one point in the trip, we had a little bit of time to kill. And so I placed a GoPro on one of the bigger icebergs. Well, as Murphy's Law would have it, this was an iceberg that was gonna break in half. We were kayaking away from the iceberg and then we start to see the wave and then the whole thing just starts to kind of tip over. We felt a shock through the water and heard a thunderous boom as this iceberg cracked in half. At first we were afraid for ourselves, but then I was thinking, oh no, there goes the GoPro, and we just watched it rock up higher and higher, and I could just reach it with my paddle tip and knocked it off into the water, recovered the GoPro. It was a pretty cool experience, a little nerve-wracking, not just because we were worried about losing the GoPro, we were worried about ourselves. That was awesome. <laughs> wow. When you're paddling in that kind of an environment, there's just a lot of unpredictability. You have to be respectful of how remote you are and how powerful Mother Nature is. And if you do that, then you can have a safe and mind-blowing experience in Tracy Arm. <laughs>